Hi, this is Stephanie from the Cat Academy, and we are going to have a great time today. We are going to do our very first 3D project called The Cabin in our program called ArchiCAD. It's by Graphisoft, and Graphisoft is the largest um, architectural CAD company in the world, and they always have believed in 3D, do, doing things in 3D. They called it model-based design, and that turned into what's called building information model, and that's what architects use today. So this is the very la latest thing. This is going to be easy for everybody, so everybody's going to be able to do this, and there is a PDF step-by-step -step on how to do this. So after I finish demonstrating, you can look at this PDF on the instructor portal and go through it step-by-step. -step. So it's going to be easy for everybody to learn. When the program comes up, you will have this option. And what we're going to do is create a new project. We want to make sure that we use, instead of a commercial, because that gives us too big of a page, we're going to use a, a residential template. And so that we're all on the same screen, I want everybody to come to, down to Standard Profile and say New. And now the program is setting up for us our environment that we requested just then. So this is our drawing area. And this is the toolbox. And whatever is set in the toolbox so if I've got wall highlighted, like it comes up as the default, then this is the info box. And it has what is highlighted and uh, a way to change things quickly and easily here. Or you can find out more information a different way. This is the navigator. And this allows us to uh, wander through the project. And uh, there's different aspects of this. But basically, while we're making this, it, it will uh, make it easy to actually make a set of construction drawings because we're doing this with a 3D model. These are viewing tools. And these are elevation markers. So if you go over to the navigator and you hit elevations, then you'll see that that's what they refer to. We are going to start with wall. And we see that the outside is darker of the of the wall we're using. And it doesn't matter what wall we picked or selected, because we can change it at any time, unlike uh, paper drawn drawings. It's also going on a layer. But I am going to select this. The default is a single line. And what we want to do is we want to do multiple lines. So we're going to come over in this quadrant. We're going to pick a beginning point or select a beginning point. We're coming over. And the darker line means that's the outside of the wall. So we're going right. And notice how I got all those dashed lines when I was straight. So I want to go over. I want to be straight. And that's called directional input. I take my hands off the keyboard and type in 20 because that's how long the wall is. You've got to be accurate in architecture. So 20 and enter. And that's how long that wall is. Now I'm going to head down. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm giving it the direction. I've got the construction lines. I type in 20, and that wall is exactly 20. I'm going to type in 20 for this one. And now let's say that you hit some things you didn't want to. So if you hit backspace, it goes back one step at a time. So backspace is handy to know. I'm going to come up here and finish this. And I'm still connected, so I right click and say OK, and it cleans up that for me. This is handy too. undo. That will help you if you have completely want to start all over. You can hit undo. So now we have the beginning of our cabin. You can rollerball zoom into it, or you can select this, which is a two-part zoom. And you have a lot of control over the zoom area you see. And this is the beginning of what we have done. Now we're going to go down to door. I single picked on door, and I get the info box up. But if I double click, then I can have options. And options are awfully nice. So you probably see something like this. And so I said, OK, I want a wood door. And then I want a wood entrance door. And now if I select, I like that one. And these, you can change a lot of things about this door that you wouldn't even recognize it in the parameters. But we're just going to select that one. And we're going to say, OK. The program has defaults to the midpoint. So we're going to position this accurately into the middle of this wall. So as I come in, you can see there's a dash right there, right? And this is the outside of it. So we have the outside on the outside wall of the door. I select here. And now I can say where I want the swing. 
and I want this by just rolling the mouse around and I want it on this side. Now let's put in an egress door and our egress door is this little or exit door because you got to have be able to get in and out according to a fire code for sure and so now we come and this is our little Mercedes cursor they call it and then we come along here and we want the outside door to be facing that direction we got our check we are good we say so we put in a couple of doors now we're going to go into select some windows for our little cabin and I am going to do a big fixed window because I can it's huge it lets in lots of light keeps the bears out because my cabins in the woods okay so I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna find the midpoint again so I have found the midpoint I want the um, the outside to be facing the outside of the wall and then I want to put my marker out here so now we've got one uh, window in we'll come here and do another one and we want the outside there we got our check mark and we come inside so we got a couple of windows. I'm going to go look at windows again and I want this one to be in my restroom but uh, we're going to talk about that because you may or may not want to have a restroom here. You don't. We're going to make this so that you have a little bit of uh, choices here. Now in this program, this is the new or release so you might not have that but in this program this will find the midpoint of this wall that's been separated by the door. So I can actually find the midpoint of this wall as well. I got a check. Everything looks happy. I pick here, and then we uh, let's put some fancy windows in the front because my cabin is going to be cool. I'm going to go to a special window, and your at your option you can select other windows as well, uh, whatever you'd like and now I need to find that midpoint again and again there should be a check got my check so that looks good now we're gonna do one over here got my check everything looks good there so now we've got some windows in and let's go look at it I'm heading down the navigator which is very cool and if I get here to the 3D, if I just select this, I can go to Generic Perspective. And there it is. That's really great. I bet, I bet that's amazing to you. Okay, now this is an orbit tool. So we want to make sure that you get that an orbit tool that looks like that. And then you pick with your left mouse button and slide up and down or left and right to see it. Now if I want to continue around, I lift up then I give myself a new pick point but I think most students know how to orbit but anyway so you can play with that for a little bit and then you've got to get back to work so we're going back to work we're going back to the first floor now we do need a slab underneath this building and one thing that's interesting about the slab tool is when you put up walls even if they're curved whatever and you put in a slab if you use the magic wand it will automatically align to the walls and that's really cool to me so if you hit or select the space bar you'll see this magic wand then you select a wall and there should be a slab so we automatically put a slab under our building I'm going to double click here so by using defaults and it's automatically going on layers it automatically does things we're actually making some uh, real good uh, headway here so you could actually build something to show someone what it would look like really easily remember I just did something I didn't want there so I hit escape so if you get something you don't like escape escape is canceled on this program as well let's put in a roof so on a roof you can do a hip or a gable roof if you want to but I'm going to double click for more information and I know that our walls are 10 feet so I'm going to change that to 10 I'm going to say OK then I'm going to come over here again spacebar for the magic wand click it 
and I've got a roof. Let's look at this. So I could change the pitch now or just leave it the way it is, but now I also, these are, this has automatically gone out and done elevations for us, so we don't have to do that type of drawing. So once you get your uh, drawing in, all the other work, and including door and window schedules. So there's uh, schedules already done on, and you can change these so that they look exactly the way you want them, because architects uh, like things to look a specific way because they have their own their their own niche we'll just call it now let's do a little dimensioning of this and see where things got placed and one thing that's not going to be easy is with the roof showing there so when you want to change anything about anything at any time you go to the arrow and here is a magnet I've got that highlighted. This There's windowing tools, but we're going to use the magnet. Now, as I go over something, it just finds it. So I found my roof. I click left-click on it. I right-click mouse, and I get options, a lot of options. And I'm going to go to layer and say hide. I don't want to see that anymore. And so now I am ready to do some dimensioning. If I want to select all of the walls to tell the program this is what I want to do, I can go over to my toolbox and say wall, and instead of picking all the four walls separately by using that arrow and then coming along, I can say wall, and this is important. If I do a control key down and tap A for all, it brings up all the walls. So it, it, it brought up the selection that I have in the toolbox. Now, if I go up here to the pull down menu and let's go to document extras and automatic dimensioning exterior and what we're going to do is we're going to we measured from the center so I'm going to open from the center because there are wood doors I'm going to take off the external geometry here and I'm going to say place on all four sides so now I say OK and I need to select a wall so I'm coming along here and I'm going to select that with my little Mercedes cursor. I come out, I get a hammer. Where do you want your dimension lines located? I do another left pick and there is my drawing dimension. Now you can edit those two, move them, do anything you want. But the walls are selected now and whenever you've got anything selected, anything else you do, it thinks that's what you want to do. So do escape, escape. And that concludes our beginning lesson. Be sure to go up to File and Save It. And if you do Save As, you can see where you're going to save it. Like I'll save mine on my desktop and I'll call it uh, Number One Cabin. But you can call it anything you want. And then the next thing we're going to do is we are going to make a bubble diagram of this. So uh, either you can sketch it out on a sheet or we're going to go over here to a quick PowerPoint on the cabin. This is what a bubble diagram looks like. So remember how in architecture on the intro program we said it's not the walls but the voids within. It's the interior space that becomes important to a person. And so I looked at this and I said this cabin is so small I'm going to make it really open. But I want you to come up with a bubble diagram on how you want to uh, build your cabin. So I put in a walled, I said I want a walled bath on the upper right, and then just down from that I'm going to put a couch that converts into a bed so it's kind of a sleeping area. Then I need to put in some big wardrobe things so that they have a place to put things because I'm not going to put in a closet. And then I have additional seating, a dining, and an efficient kitchen because it's so small. So that's my bubble diagram. And up on the instructor portal there's a PDF that you can print out and do a bubble diagram because next time we're going to put in interior walls and make this exactly the way you want to make it. So you come up with an idea. You could even put in a loft. That would be very cool too, a sleeping loft. So come up with an idea of how you're going to separate these little spaces. And uh, this is what I did with that. And then you can see this program because it's 3D you can do amazing graphics with it so if you hang in there you're gonna have a great time uh, working with uh, this program you can see these shots from uh, the facilities kind of facilities planning because I went and put furniture in there too now we are working with model based BIM design and what happens is 
most normally you take a 3D object and they flatten it so they make it in in different views like the front view the side view the top view etc so there's a theory in architecture called the glass box theory and it's something that you need to know even though we automatically create the views for you but you think of something as being encased in a glass box and those views being projected onto that glass box what they would look like and so we have a little project if you want to play and learn about uh, the glass box theory a little bit more you can it's a PDF on the instructor portal and you can fold this and see how it goes together to make one 3d view and there is also a PDF for making a bubble diagram so either one of those that's what we're going to do next and I'm going to leave you with something to give you possibility thinking this is uh, my cabin so you can see we are going to learn a lot and we're going to have fun so this is a walkthrough that I easily made everything is so fun and easy with this program so meanwhile go and select your PDF to start your first project and uh, I will uh, have a we'll have another tutorial up there to start the interiors thank you for listening